Okay, so I'm going to try and build an application and, z and see just how quickly we can do this in Salesforce. And this is one reason why Salesforce is so successful is because you can create applications very rapidly. And so to start off with, I'm going to go to the Objects and Fields section of the Setup menu. Now this is assuming you've got a free developer account from Salesforce. I'll make a link to this uh, sign up for a free developer account in the description of this video and then you just simply once you're logged in you click on the gear icon to go to setup that opens up the setup menu and we're going to go to objects and fields and select object manager now for our new application that we're going to create I need to add a new object to my uh, Salesforce instance here and these are different standard objects uh, that are available in Salesforce and these may differ somewhat in your own free developer account depending on what you've uh, done with it but if i click on the create menu and select custom object i'm going to create a new custom object in my salesforce instance for this application i'm going to create a mileage tracking application this is something that you could use if you're doing business related travel with your vehicle for instance and the idea behind this is that we're going to create a new object called trip and then we're going to have our starting and ending mileage and put together this application here in Salesforce. So I'm going to make this label for this new object of uh, this application, this main primary object we're going to use is called um, trip and then the plural label will be trips and it does not start with a vowel sound. And then I'm going to scroll down and um, we're going to have the data type be auto number for the trip and we're going to start the numbering uh, designation with a T and then a dash and then we're going to do five digits and we have the starting number B1 and then I'm going to select to allow reports and activities and track field history now I'm going to I'm not going to take a lot of time to explain all these designations uh, I am going to select allow search and then as well add the notes and attachments and launch the new custom tab wizard but since I'm trying to see how quickly I can create a new app, I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining this. And we're just going to move forward and see where we end up and how quickly we end up there. I'm going to set a tab style and select a tab of a car, since this is related to mileage tracker. And click Next. And then we're going to apply uh, one tab visibility to all profiles of default on. And that's just the default designation. And then click Next. And then we're going to include this tab in um, actually none of these different applications and click Save. And so now we've created our custom object we uh, called Trip and we need to create a, new, a few new fields. And so if I click on Fields and Relationships, we need to add a date field. And let's go ahead and... select date radio button and click next and we're going to label this just with the term date and this will be the date of the trip that we take we're going to have a formula to populate this by default with today and so i'm going to type in today and then uh, opening and closing parentheses check the syntax to make sure that that's right no errors click next I'm going to make this visible for the default profiles that are selected and click next and add this to the page layout and click save and new and then I want to have a couple of number fields so the first number field will be for the starting mileage so we select number radio button and click next and then we're going to call this starting mileage We'll have the length be seven digits long with a decimal place of one so we can account for tenths of a mile. We're going to click next and we're going to accept the defaults for the visibility of this particular new field by profile and add this to the page layout as well and click save and new to save that starting mileage field and now we're going to create one more numeric field and here's where you select the data type once again is number click next and then this is the ending mileage 
Once again, we're going to make the length of this one as well, seven digits long, and then one decimal place to allow for tenths of a mile. We're going to leave the rest alone and click Next. And then we're going to take the defaults here and click Next and click Save. So now we've got a date field and a beginning and ending mileage field. And now we're going to create a formula field to subtract the mileage, the starting and ending mileage to get our uh, miles um, to calculate the mileage for the trip. So we click on New, we select Formula, click Next, and then we're just going to say Distance Traveled. This way, if your odometer in your vehicle is kilometers or miles, um, it'll work either way. And so now the formula return type will be a number. We're going to click Next, and then we're going to do our advanced formula by clicking there. And we're going to click Insert Field and find our um, ending mileage and insert that. And then we're going to insert an operator of subtract. And then we're going to insert another field with our beginning mileage or starting mileage. And so this is just simply a math equation for this formula. We're taking our ending mileage, and then from that we're subtracting the starting mileage to give our distance traveled. So I'm going to check the syntax. No errors. And we're going to treat blank fields as blanks. Well, let's just leave that. Treat blank fields as zeros, actually. And let's click Next. And we're going to take the defaults here. You notice that it is read only because that's a formula field. So you can't edit a formula field. And we're going to add it to the page layout as well and click Save. So we have our new object we created called Trip. And now we're going to go into Setup in the Setup Search, actually, and create a new application now that we have our object that we need for the application. And so in Salesforce, an application is just a series of tabs. And so if we search for app or apps here, we can go to the App Manager. And here in Lightning Experience, and this is the new interface for Salesforce, this is the Lightning Experience App Manager, we're going to select a new Lightning app, and we're going to name this Mileage Tracker. When we tab out of that field, it fills in the API name or the developer name automatically with the underscore. You could add an image. Um, we're not going to do that for sake of time. Click Next. We're going to do standard navigation instead of putting this inside of a Salesforce console. And we don't need the service setup uh, menu option, so we're just going to click Next. And then for the utility bar items, we don't need any utility bars here, but you could add those. These are these icons here at the bottom of the screen that I've got my mouse over. And clicking Next, we're going to make the available items. Let's look for our trip object. You could type here. And there's our trips. That's the plural that we selected previously. And then let's go ahead and let's add an account object. And so we've got in our application, we've got trips and accounts available. Let me click Next. And then for available profiles, we will just select all profiles to make this app available to by shift clicking uh, from top to bottom and clicking the right arrow to move them over to the right and click Save and Finish. And so now if we click on the app launcher, we see that we have our mileage tracker. This is a new application that I just created. And I don't know how quickly we did that, but it was probably less than 10 minutes. And so now we have inside of our mileage tracker app, we have our different trips and also this accounts uh, tab. Now I want to go in before we create any new trips is that in adding the accounts to this application, I realized that for like a new trip, for example, I want to add a lookup for the account so I can associate this trip with like a client visit, for example. So here's a preview of a new trip screen. These are the fields that we created that have been added to the page layout. But I'm going to cancel out of that and let's go back into our object manager. And I've got it in this tab here already. And let's add one more new field. And this will be a lookup field to the account object. 
So I'm going to select that as account, and we're relating that lookup to the account uh, object and click Next. And then we're going to tab out of the field label to fill in the field name. And then we're going to leave the rest defaults and click Next. Keep the defaults here as well as far as visibility. And add this to the page layout. And click Save to finish that out. So now I'm going to go back to my trips um, tab inside of the mileage tracker app and I'm going to go ahead and click refresh just in case uh, the new button uh, is cached in memory uh, to not include the account lookup. I'm going to click new and make sure we've got the account lookup now. So you notice here we've got the account lookup and I'm going to select an account to associate this trip for. Now Dickinson PLC is a, just a sample account name that comes in the free Salesforce developer accounts. And let's say that my starting mileage on this trip that I take today, my mileage on my odometer was 10,000 miles, and then my ending mileage was 10,100.1, for example. I'm going to click Save, and now it'll bring me to the details screen for that trip. And you notice the auto numbering of this record. We did the auto numbering with the five uh, digits starting with number one and proceeded with the prefix of the T dash. And so we've got our starting and ending mileage and our distance traveled is showing in the formulas uh, 100.1 miles. And so it's that quick that we've been able to create a app inside of the Salesforce platform. And this is just a hint or a glimpse at why this platform is so powerful. The more that you're involved with web development and creating applications through iOS or Java or traditional routes or even HTML, you realize quickly that Salesforce has a better way of doing things. Now, of course, there's limitations, but you can create an application that works out of the box, not only on desktop, but this app will serve you well on a mobile device as well. And so feel free to use this application for your own purposes, for your own mileage tracking. If you're a consultant or a salesperson and you do a lot of traveling and you need to deduct mileage off your tax returns, you need to track all that, you can pull out your phone and very quickly log your mileage using this new app that you've just created on the Salesforce platform.